I think it's important to preface that you know I'm I'm flawed definitely and uh, this is my first YouTube video back in fucking forever because the last time you saw me I was in escargo and just that there's an update video on that coming um, if you're here you're definitely you know watching because you know me or you're a friend of mine but <clears throat> you know I've been watching movies and TV for a very long time and uh, I felt that love and passion definitely needs to be fucking you know I definitely need to express it because you know I think I feel I have substantial say now one I wasn't very confident in and one I didn't feel I deserved but uh you know I'm forgiving myself for you know shitting on people who did this like shout out to my brother Jaden you know he hit a series uh, covering a um, web series called Red vs. Blue and I, yeah, a friend of mine and me and I shit on him to no ends and I, I you know, I, I let that one live with me for a long time you know, in, into like today when I first start writing for this episode of uh, it's not a, it's a hybrid, it's not an, it's not an analysis or a review of any kind of anything I like to call an appreciation video because great shows deserve to be um appreciated and i think that's the basis of any anyone who gets into this uh fucking uh medium and i i'm actually writing a screenplay right now and i would like to get that made within the next three years that's the timeline i've been given and i hope uh the people i shared it with find it as fucking beautiful as i do because i put my fucking writer Issy into that shit and you know the past two episodes of Res Dogs have like actually enamored me or like had me enamored because of like where it took me emotionally and where it moved me and we pick up the season with William Knife Man uh, where we left off in season two in LA where you know they went to go to the ocean that was a fucking great scene you know I cried because you know that reminds me a lot of my friends and where I come from the the world that we occupied together for like three years making YouTube videos and um, not being very kind to each other but still having a, a love for each other I think I very much dearly miss but I, I know you can't go back in time so I took that in stride and the Lost Boys reference with the, the saxophone dude was like literally the is what made the season for me and that was like my favorite episode up until episode 2 of season 3 I fucking love that episode god damn that really hit home for me in, in a number of ways like yo there's a there's a line he's like you know you he's like you know something to the extent of you can't feel love and this is Maximus the the like disgruntled um I want to say psychiatric patient because it's alluded to the fact that he's probably wheeled off to an institution episode one bear goes to his dad we find ourselves in the presence of white Jesus and um, they're waiting for Bear's aunt, who's who's kind of looking like she might be dealing with an ailment or an illness, and that's very something prevalent in Native country. I struggle with diabetes myself, and she looks like she has a respiratory disease. I'm building one right now that I'm kind of hoping stays away for a bit. Just coming to terms with that shit, and especially when they bring up Alora's uncle or like dad uncle but they bring up her dad and my immediate thoughts went to Bill Burr in that uncomfortable hug scene and my mind put two and two together and I wanted that to be a thing because I'm like well that why else you know I mean yeah he was, he was kind of creepy I, I definitely interpreted that as something and I was like if that comes to fruition I definitely hope I'm right on this prediction because I will <laughs> pat myself on the back if it comes true and I think uh, Bear, Bear definitely has a couple episodes, I think, these two episodes are dedicated to Bear, like, facing his father, coming to coming to terms with his dad's, that he's just, you know, not going to have him in his life, and he's like, fuck it, I'm going out on my own, and I definitely related to that to an uncomfortable degree, because that's the thing with these native movies, and these native, this native media, media I want to say, this genre, and the authenticity sometimes that you, like you feel like you're looking in a mirror and I'm, I definitely 
felt like I was looking into a mirror today when I watched those episodes, especially Bear, and, you know, finding a mentor in Maximus, and I definitely felt like I found a few Maximuses of my own, and that's why I related so hard to him in this episode, because I was like, damn, that was crazy. And the fact that, like, Bear didn't mean to miss the bus, but, you know, his spirit guide was like, you know, just walk that way, and he did. I love that, and it leads us in episode two where Barry runs into a, a, like a Spaniard, and that whole like spirit interaction is like the funniest thing. It's right up the alley with native humor, and calls him a fucking colonizer. That shit was hilarious. I laughed. You know, Barry's walking in the desert, getting mad at William Knifeman, telling him like, "Dude, you're useless. You're not pointing me in a direction." And that's something someone who's on their spiritual journey will definitely run into especially when you're like dude can I get a sign is this the way forward like shit like that and can I just point out the fucking single tear scene that William does so like I definitely caught that and I hope other people caught that shit too because that was hilarious and you know we cut to an unknown character watching Bear talk to himself and, and it ends up being Maximus and he kind of like knocks his ass out or like Bear gets knocked out and he wakes up in Maximus's trailer and he explains to Bear and like they just go on this whole journey of like there's unusual interrogating questions and you expect to hear from a loony who obsesses over aliens and star people as Maximus likes to say and he goes on to explain to Bear that he and Bear are kindred in the way of seeing things other people can't explain but I soon figured that Bear ended up in a position for seeing himself each his future self in Maximus' position if he kept on his journey he was going on a loner hermit. <sighs> That's how I interpreted this episode is this old guy teaching Bear how to love as it is in its purest form just manifested. His line throughout we were just echoes of things that came before and that stopped me in my fucking tracks because I was like, dude, I, I believe in star people. It's it's a thing. We came from the stars. That's that's how I interpret life. And I stargaze at night. That's one thing we did together as a group. Back in the old days, of like escargot, we we would go to a football field and we would grab snacks and spend like three, four hours out there, middle of the night, just fucking watching the stars and talking about life, man. So and that's and then they had their like stargazing scene, and I just love that. And more importantly, alluded to Bear not wanting his lifestyle, and that is lonely, and you can't sometimes feel the love the way you want. It's just there as it exists, and I felt that to my core because. I've been going through like a self-love journey and you know I know people love me and I know family love me and I know friends love me and I couldn't you know at the time I couldn't feel that love and I had to give it to myself and now I now I can give it and receive it love in that aspect and that it can just exist that it can just be like that's what I interpreted that and you know the police end up coming from Maximus and he tells Bear to go home because people probably miss him, which I think is like the most Maximus thing he's done all episode. Is like, dude, you like you don't want to end up like me. And there's another movie called The Art of Living. That no, it's not The Art of Living. I don't know. It's it's one of Zach Galifianakis, and you know, much to the to the effect of how this episode turned out. That's how it goes for that kid, too. He's like Zach Galifianakis. is like, dude, you're normal. Go enjoy normal things. And, you know, I love that Bear pays, you know, his dues when he, like, waters the eggplants when he leaves. And then he does that, his own little leap of faith, his pseudo leap of faith, going into the tunnel and, you know, coming out the other side all right. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for the final season and, you know, the what we get to see coming forward. I, I, I'm happy, you know, we finally have something to say, like, oh, that's me and my friends. Like, that's how I grew up. You know, that's how my formative years, so I, it's why I, I am who I am today, you know, spending my time with them, definitely. And that's, that's why I keep watch, tuning in every weekend, or every Wednesday, for, you know, to see this group dynamic that me and my friends relate to. And, you know, my editor grants kind of definitely help me run that fact home. And to a fellow XM424987, your transmission signal is good. I can hear you just fine.